Hey there, Eric Louvier. Welcome back. This is video eight, and we're going to talk about some really cool stuff on this video. First of all, JV Affiliates. I want to tell you, back in 2008 and 2009, I did over $600,000 in revenue just from affiliate income. That doesn't count everything else that I was doing to my own list and CPA offers and affiliate offers and membership stuff and all that back then. It was most, that was the income generated from uh, affiliates promoting my offers. At the end of the year, I was looking at the bookkeeping and I realized of all, all of that $600,000 came from around nine to 11 individual affiliates for the most part. It was the same old people all year long that generated most of that money. Pretty amazing that nine to 11 people generated that kind of money. After looking at this, and I don't remember if it was 9 or 11, so that's why I'm saying 9 to 11. After looking at this, I realized all of them were the closest friends I had in the market. They were my competition, but they were also my friends. That was a pretty big revelation for me. I wasn't someone who was a big networker back then that went out there and started building friends and stuff like that. These are just people that happened to become my friends through business and through getting to know them better. And... It resulted in them generating over $600,000 worth of income from me by promoting my stuff. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about people. It's people who buy your products. It's people who recommend your products to other people. It's people who give you glowing testimonials and become raving fans of yours and tell their friends and family about you and your products and services. It's people who give you advice, like me, and mentor you, real people. It's people who give you your best lessons, your biggest breakthroughs, your best secrets to follow, your best resources, your best opportunities, and it's people who will save you from crisis. And it's people who will help you get rich too. Other people mastermind with you, give you advice, give you opportunities, and yes, they even promote for you. So can you do it all by yourself? Yes, you could do it all by yourself, but it's much easier, much faster if you tap into the other resources and other people to help you with what they know how to do and to lift you up. So therefore, here's my million dollar advice to you. Invest in relationships. Invest in relationships. Invest in building relationships for yourself and your business. Invest your time, invest your energy, invest your money, and invest your resources into building and striking relationships with other key people. Work to organize your relationship building tactics to structure it. You know, pick a day and that day is going to be days to reach out and talk to people on Skype or on the phone or get to know them. Reach out to them through Facebook. Do it on purpose. Build relationships with people. It can change your entire life. Reach out to people, do it on purpose, and make it a part of doing business. Here's your goal. 25 new relationships. Can you do that in a month? I dare you. I double dog dare you to set a goal to build 25 new relationships this month. And if you don't have enough time because you're busy, busy, then at least within 90 days maximum. But if you really get after it, you could do that in a month. You could do that in a week. But 25 new relationships this month. Can you do that? I double dog dare you to even try. Because those 25 relationships, watch what happens to your life after building those relationships. You'll be ecstatic. It will change your life. Watch how your eyes open up to all the opportunities and possibilities. Watch how you see everything so differently than you ever did before because of your interaction with these people. Watch how you feel. Pay attention to how you feel from, like a, from your soul level. Just interacting with like-minded people is incredibly inspiring, incredibly powerful, and can change your whole entire financial life, your attitude, and everything. And besides, it helps you kind of get away from all the other people you're used to spending all your time with. These new people, just one new person can change your life and help you see things completely differently. So watch how easily you achieve your goals after you do this. It's a big secret. It's a million dollar secret. Just one of those relationships can help you make a million dollars, much less 25 of them. It's like nature or God or whatever you want to call this made this a secret. 
or some kind of prerequisite to success. It's like a way of forcing us to work with each other and help each other out or something. But it freaking works, right? Friends, friends also promote for you. Friends don't even need a recip. They don't need you to reciprocate for them. They're your friend. They'll send an email out to, for you, of course. They don't even need to know the conversion rates. Of course. Of course they'll promote for you. Of course. They don't even need to be paid right away, but you should pay them fast and right away anyway because you don't want to lose your friendship over some money. Just do the right things and they'll be your friends forever. Imagine, you could get rich just by being a cool person, just by being a friendly person. And that brings me to another point. If you really want to build relationships and build your income, then I'd like you to just kind of ponder on something real quickly. So kind of listen in on this. What I'd like you to do is think about being a magnetic person. Be, become the hunted instead of the hunter. Be such a good, glowing, magnetic person that people gravitate towards you. So who do people gravitate towards? Well, they like people who are friendly and positive, for one. They don't like it when people criticize others. That just doesn't feel good. It feels kind of awkward, right? And it makes you kind of seem like you're coming from a negative position. They like fun, happy, energetic, passionate, inspired people who, are, who have integrity, who tell the truth, who tell it like it is, and have some respect for themselves and others. They have some character, okay? They're not sloppy sweet to where they're people pleasers. They'll tell it like it is. But they're also just very upfront, real, and they like providing uh, service to others. So you don't want to ask yourself, what can this person do for me? You want to ask yourself, what can I do for that person? And you'll start to become a magnetic person. And then you'll have to literally turn opportunity down because too much is coming too fast. So become that magnetic person and, and just do the best that you can. You can't like flip a switch and do that overnight. But if you keep it conscious in your mind, just that alone can boost your income. So invest in yourself. I want to tell you about one saying or quote that changed my life. And here it is. This, I'll never forget this quote because it's just or the concept of this quote because it's so absolutely changed my life. And here it is. If you want more, you've got to become more. You might have heard that before, but this is so important to me. It has literally changed my life. It's so simple, yet so powerful. If you want more money, then you need to become more. If you want more freedom, you need to become more. You need to become more on the inside. If you want more happiness, you need to become more. If you want more love, you need to become more. If you want more love, you need to give more love. If you want more money, you need to give more money. If you want more success, you need to give more success. If you want more, you've got to become more on the inside. You've got to escape comfort zones. You've got to improve. You've got to invest in yourself. You've got to change the habitual thoughts that you've had for so many years. If all you've ever made is $60,000 per year for all of your life and you're 50 years old, well, you're going to need to change some things if you want to make a quarter million dollars a year you have the similar thoughts the similar beliefs the similar habits that you've been participating in for 30 40 50 years right and they've been conditioned into your mind so to change those which you can that's the good news is you can change anything you, that's the good thing about being a human being is you have the ability to change your, your life plan. You can change it today. You can change it right now. You can put your foot in the ground and say today, enough is enough. I don't want to live my life like this anymore. I want to succeed. I want more. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes to become more. Enough is enough. To start in today, I'm going to lose this weight. Start in today, I'm going to make money. Start in today, I'm going to have more freedom. Life is short, right? So you decide that you want more, and by wanting more, you force yourself to become more on the inside, and that makes you escape comfort zones, and then making a quarter of a million dollars becomes real. You gotta change yourself on the inside first, and then everything on the outside changes after. This is a million dollar piece of advice. Let me give you a really point blank example. When I first started making money online, there was a lot of things that I was uncomfortable doing. I didn't want to build relationships, for example, so I just kind of stayed in my own little cave of a home office and did my own little paid traffic stuff. 
But then I forced myself to start building relationships. And then my whole life changed. And then whenever I started making six figures online and quit my job, I forced myself to focus on recruiting affiliates to promote for me. I didn't like it. I didn't want to do it. It was very uncomfortable. I didn't like getting rejected, but I was tired of being complacent and I wanted more. I felt like I could do more because I saw others doing more and I didn't think they were any better than I was. They weren't smarter or anything like that. They were just more willing or courageous to do it and they did it. So I decided to do that too. So I escaped that comfort zone and decided to start recruiting affiliates to promote for me. Now after that, I just, I wasn't very comfortable doing videos like you see me doing right now. I wasn't comfortable speaking on stage. I wasn't comfortable doing live teleseminars in front of public people, in front of a group audience. I wasn't comfortable doing live webinars and videos and putting myself on video and, and teaching stuff and sharing stuff. But I forced myself to do it anyway. I wanted more. So I decided to escape that comfort zone and do it any, anyway. I was nervous at first. I didn't want to do it. I was sweating. I couldn't sleep the night before, but I did it anyway. And what happened was I got so good at it that I could do it in my sleep. I could do it in the back of my hand and I wouldn't get nervous, even if I was in front of 10,000 people online or even a million people. So what happens is over time you start to escape comfort zones and escape more and more comfort zones, more and more comfort zones. And the next thing you know, all these things are comfortable to you, but you notice for mostly everyone else, the 97 percenters, they'd be damned to be put on stage and speak. They'd be damned to create a sales video. They'll be damned to be on a live teleseminar in front of a thousand people. There's no way they're gonna do consulting or a coaching offer, a high ticket offer, create a workshop or seminar and all that kind of stuff because it's too nerve wracking, it's too scary, it's too fearful and it's way outside their comfort zone. So if you want more, you've got to become more on the inside. I didn't reach a million million dollars by flipping a switch. I reached a million dollars because I was willing to escape comfort zones and become more on the inside. And through repetition and through just doing it anyway, I got decently good at some of these things and it paid off in spades with a whole lot of money and a whole lot of revenue. You could do it too. I was shy and nervous and I didn't want to be in front of people, but over time I got better and better and better at it. I got better at talking, I got better at speaking, better at teaching, and, and over time through repetition I know the stuff like the back of my hand. There's a million dollar piece of advice. Here's another one. Success is doing what you said you would do long after the mood in which you said it has left you. I've seen so many times people get motivated and then they just quit. Well, motivation is not good enough. Motivation is temporary. Motivation is temporary. You can't get motivated to succeed. It's not going to last. I can get motivated to go outside and jog five miles. That doesn't mean I'm going to do it every day. It doesn't mean I'm going to do it even next month or even the rest of this year or the rest of this decade. Success is doing what you said you would do after that mood in which you said it has left you. So motivation is temporary. You know what's forever? Drive being driven on the inside, being an ambitious on the inside. And you can change your life plan and be ambitious starting today. If you put your foot in the ground, point your finger and say enough is enough, I'm gonna change this, okay? You could do this. This is where the millions of dollars comes from. The tactical know-how is one thing. You can learn the tactical know-how stuff, everyone can. But the internal communication that you have with yourself and the external communication you get from other people is what's gonna dictate your success whether you like it or not. You can learn all the formulas and techniques and strategies the world has to offer, but it's not gonna make you a dime. Not a dime of a difference unless you invest in yourself. That's where the money is going to come from. Trust me, I can teach you every single traffic tactic, every conversion tactic, everything I've ever learned in internet marketing, which is worth millions of dollars. And it's not going to make a squirt of a difference unless you decide to change on the inside and invest in yourself and become more. So that saying changed my life too. Motivation is temporary. Drive is forever. So success is doing what you said you would do long after the mood in which you said it has left you. You want another one? Here's one. I once had this huge discovery. I'll never forget this big discovery I had. I figured out that really, really rich business people only have 24 hours in a day. 
Hmm. Million dollars advice. You've got to just you got to go all in. Okay, you got to go all in. You know, just all in. Going halfway or half ass or just sticking your big toe in the water to test it out is not going to create enough power, torque, or fuel or whatever is required to reach the moon. If you want to be successful, you're going to have to just dive into the water or just jump and the net will appear. You got to take a leap of faith. This is called courage, my friend. You have to have courage to go full steam full bore all in maximum power rocket fuel and blazing power and force yourself to create or cause the law of cause and effect cause change in your life in order to succeed you cannot just casually think about these things you have to change your life you have to wake up in the morning bounce out of bed and be driven deeply deeply driven to succeed and you get out there and you force things to happen you get 10 percent more aggressive than you've ever been you say enough is enough you get a little bit aggressive a little bit kind of angry and you make things happen in a very passionate positive inspiring magnetic way the way you do that is with maximum power by going all in that's not what most people do most people dabble they just dabble. They coast, they drift, and they just dabble through life. And the next thing you know, a week turns into a month. A month turns into six months. Six months turns into a year, and a year turns into a freaking decade, and you haven't made a change at all. You haven't even advanced a step. You, don't even, you haven't even picked the niche market yet. Make sure that you go all in. Give it all you have. Full 110% faith. Take that leap of faith, go all in, the net will appear, and you will achieve your goals. Being timid, being indecisive, being a dabbler, being a drifter and a coaster, and just bouncing around from one thing to the next will continue to provide non-success, failure. If you want to succeed, you got to go all in, my friend. Give it all you got, okay? But the key is to do it long after this. If I'm motivating you right now, that's not good enough. You got to be driven all the way through to the end. So you have to escape comfort zones. To get more, you have to become more. You have to escape those comfort zones. You got to do the things that aren't comfortable. Even if it feels a little nervous, do it anymore. Anyway, to get more, you have to become more. And one thing. If you stick to one sales funnel and stay there, working on it each and every day, and just make a commitment to never quit on this sales funnel for a year, you just keep at it, you'll succeed beyond your wildest dreams. It's the bouncing around that's killing your dreams. Stick to one thing. Stop chasing the magic button. You want to go a mile deep instead of a mile wide and an inch deep. So just picture a mile deep into the ground. That's what you want to do. You want to get into the guts of the earth, of what you're doing. You don't want to go a mile wide and only an inch deep. That's not going to work. It's not going to make any kind of difference. It's, not, it's just scratching the surface, which isn't going to do anything. Go deep into the sales funnel. Go deep into what you're doing. Get into the guts of it. Get an A++ on every single thing that you do, every step, and you'll make a ton of money. Stop chasing the quick fix. Stop chasing the hit of hope and get to work building a real business. Most people just bounce from one thing to the next. They drift, they coast, they dabble, they bounce around. They're looking for the quick hit of hope. They're looking for the pie in the sky, the quick fix, the easy path of least resistance. And it never works for them. A week turns into a year, a year turns into a decade, and they still haven't made any money. So make sure you stay for a while. Stay here. Money is just math. And again, it's not a thousand different things that you need to do to make a lot of money. It's just eight or so things that you need to do. But you got to get good at those eight or so things. You need to get an A++ on those eight or so things that you need to do. And 
A++ on each step. Get an A++ on your niche market that you pick and commit to. Get an A++ on your squeeze page. Make sure that's the best damn squeeze page ever. Get an A++ on your one-time offer. Make sure it's awesome. Keep tweaking and tracking and testing it to improve the conversions on it. Get an A++ on your autoresponder emails. Get an A++ on the traffic that you drive to your squeeze page. Get an A++ on every single step. The affiliates, recruiting affiliates, everything, your upsells, your high ticket offers, and you will make a fortune, my friend. It's the bouncing around and dabbling that kills people's dreams in this market, okay? It's not a thousand different things you need to do, just eight or so. So don't ever pass, you don't. You also don't have to pass a test on being worthy either. You don't think you have to pay the price and do your time and spend the next 10 years in the internet marketing market before you're worthy of making six figures. You can make six figures this year, okay? You can make six figures in the next four or five months. You can, you're worthy of that. You're, you, you, there's so many people from all walks of life where English isn't even their first language who are making a lot of money online. You could do it too. There's so many people that never made it into college that, you know, that aren't the smartest people, aren't the sharpest tool in the shed. There's so many people that make money, but they make money because they have courage to do it. They have courage to put themselves out there. They have courage to escape comfort zones. That's the key is to have courage to take the action. You are worthy. You're worthy. Do it now. If you want more, you've got to become more. Remember that. If you want more money, you've got to become more on the inside. Thanks a lot. This is Eric Louvier.